person next to you just asked uh, you wouldn't mind to put some suntan lotion on their back? Of course you don't mind. You've got plenty of suntan lotion. Go ahead and wipe them out. <laughs> and now go ahead and help the person on the other side. Well, now that we have plenty of suntan lotion on, we are ready to go on a trip. A white water rafting trip on the Colorado River. By the way, you are all daredevils. You love this sort of stuff. None of you ever get seasick and let it sink in. The person I'm touching on the shoulder right now, you're the captain of this trip. You'll tell us where to go, when to row, and how to do it. As a matter of fact, you're the meanest, toughest captain that ever was. Let us sink in. And the person I'm touching on the shoulder right now, and the person I'm touching on the shoulder right now, you're the tour guides. You have learned the history of every place available, and you will be able to tell us long stories all about it. Now, Captain, are you ready to go? Ready, Captain. Excellent. <laughs> so why don't all of you put on your helmets? They're big helmets. Really big. Put on your life jackets. Strap yourselves in. Safety first. Pick up the paddle or an oar. And Captain, why don't you give us the order to shove off? Shove off! All right, people, start rowing! Let's get ourselves into the middle of this beautiful Colorado River, which incidentally has a lot of history to it. Uh, tell us just a little bit about it. Where are we again? Uh, Colorado. If you take a look on the left shore right now, you will see Mountains? Yes, there's a whole bunch of mountains on the show. You're absolutely right. The way is only, what, two and three foot high. Taking the boat up and down. Uh, but now, Captain, just out of curiosity, how many times have you actually been on this trip? Never. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, okay, it's a different type of a job. How did you get this job in the first place? I was hired. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, Captain, I don't mean to be a tattletale, but some people on this boat are not growing. They're slacking oh, off. I know that too. Come on, little liver. Uh, you tell him. Uh, the are coming up. Forcefully, you're the captain. <laughs> well, actually, Captain, I do know why some people are not broken. Half the boat is filled with tourists. People who do not speak a word of English. And that's exactly why we brought a translator on board. The person I'm touching on the shoulder right now, you have learned every language available. Your last job before this one was uh, translating at the United Nations. So why don't you tell the Japanese people to row? <laughs> That's right, and while you're don't forget the Italians, eh? <laughs> and the uh, Russians. Nine! <laughs> and row, people, row, because the waves are picking up more and more. They're now five and seven foot high. Taking the boat up and down, up and down. And if you take a look on the right shore right now, you will see. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, you won't see very much. Uh, but there's an actual tree. That tree uh, has a lot of history. Tell us just a little bit about it. It has lots of leaves. Yes, uh, that's uh, exactly why. Uh, that tree is very famous. Uh, but uh, if you take a look right up ahead, you will see a huge rock. And that rock has a name. Al Jero. That's right. They call that rock Al Jero. It was named that by the Indians. The actual Indian name for Algero is Why? <laughs> and Captain, we seem to head straight for the Algero rock. I think we need to make some maneuvers. Tell the team to, left, to, to left, left, to left, and everybody oh, roll left oh, and left. Oh, and the Captain, no. your, your other left. And for our Japanese friends, left. I can get those. And the Swedes. I have some sounds. And the Russians. Nine. Captain, the left's not working. Maybe we should try the right. We're gonna hit the rocks. Tell the team. Pull, pull, pull on the right. Oh, stroke. Tell the tourists. Stroke. Oink, oink, oink. They're all Japanese. <laughs> and we have just missed the Algiers rock. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. But don't stop rowing, because the waves are picking up more and more. They're now 20 and 30 foot high. Take the boat up and down. Up and down. 
And all of you know that the Colorado River flows directly into uh, uh, the Niagara River, which of course is famous for Niagara Falls. You're absolutely right. You can actually see Niagara Falls right up ahead. You can see someone in a feral going over the falls. You can hear them screaming. Which, of course, in Japanese means, Oh, she's in <laughs> And Captain, we are going to be next. What do we do now, Captain? Which way should we row? We're a deep ship. <laughs> Maybe we should row the other way. Tell the team, row the other way, hurry up. That would be backwards. Tourist. I can't do this. I'm going to get a Rope backwards, people. Last year you saw what happened to the poor Japanese fella. Come on. Holy shit. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> and everyone relax. And relax. Because no longer you find yourself in Niagara Falls. In Colorado. In California. But in Alaska, it's minus 97 degrees Fahrenheit. It's so incredibly cold. The clothes at one point have been completely soaked on your body. I start to freeze on it. You start to shake and shiver like crazy. Your teeth are starting to chatter. There's goosebumps forming up on goosebumps. You're shaking to like crazy. Your ears are freezing off. There's an icicle forming on your nose. And the person next to you is warmer than you are. And they're not willing to share the heat. But body heat is the best possible thing. Find that person and make them share the body heat with you. Put your arms right on that person and keep that person warm. Rub their shoulders. Make sure that they stay warm. The coldest day ever. You've never, ever been so cold in your life. And everyone absolutely wide awake now. Right away now. And everyone let it sink in. You are no longer cold. You are all back in room temperature right now. Is everyone all right? Good. Now, what do you say if we walk around and meet our wonderful volunteers? Find out who they are. Yes? We'll start right over here. You seem a little bit confused. I feel like I have to pee. I've got it now, you're called, right? Do you have to go? If you do have to go, just come back. All right, so go ahead. But please come back. Hopefully everything comes out. Okay. 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 Perfect. So Michelle Hogan. What was your name? Kira. Kira. And plus one more. These are your volunteers for today. Please give them a big round of applause. We get a chance to meet them all very, very shortly. And Michelle, you know what? Uh, this slide over here, get one chair. This way uh, I can sit down and everybody can see when uh, I talk to you. And move on and move on and move on. There we go. Perfect. And uh, I'll just uh, talk to you, both of you. So uh, we got Michelle. Yes. My name's Boris. I, I'm just trying to get acquainted. Okay. So you're Michelle? Yeah. Who are you? Hogan. So I'm Boris. So Hogan? Hi, Boris. This is Kira, right? Uh, Kira, right? Did yeah. I get it? Yeah. So Kira, Hogan, Boris. 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 No, Michelle. Michelle. Yes. So I'm just trying to figure out who people are. That's way the audience knows who you are. My name is Boris. My name is Michelle. My name is Hogan. No, my name is Boris. But that's uh, exactly how it works. I'm just going to figure out who people are. That's Kira, by the way. So Kira, Hogan, Boris, Michelle. Right. It's like who's on first, but I'm trying to figure out who everybody is. Boris. Hogan. I'm Boris. I'm Boris. Hi, Boris. Thanks. Thank you for sleeping. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. And take a seat. Wait, wait. 
Now, Hogan, you know, a, a lot of times people, they, uh, when they expect to get hypnotized, they expect to become a zombie. And that's not exactly how uh, it should be. You should feel absolutely normal, just like you always are. Normal? Well, normal is a relative term, yes. But uh, you should feel just like you always do. That's okay. And that's the way it should be. Now, close your eyes for a second. You are still awake. You can talk to me, correct? Yes. Now, imagine this very good. It's an imaginary thing that I'm drilling a little imaginary hole. There's no pain involved. It's imaginary. Right in the middle of your forehead. With your eyes still closed, take a look through that hole. Tell me when you're looking. Wow. So you're looking. Are you looking? Yeah, yes, bro. Yeah. Because at the same time that I was drilling that little imaginary hole, I put crazy glue on your eyelids. And your eyes have gotten stuck shut right now. If you try and open them, they will not open no matter how much you try. Go ahead and try. Do that. They really will not open, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. I know, I know. Isn't that cool? Why'd you do that? Yeah, but you're still awake, right? Except your eyes won't open. I know. Isn't that neat? Thank God I can see through this hole. <laughs> they really will not open until I snap my fingers just like that. Isn't that neat? No. <laughs> and so we got uh, with us Kara, right? Michelle? Yes. Boris? And your name? Hogan. Oh, definitely Hogan, right? Yes. Hogan, let us again. You do not remember your name right now. Hey, well, but tell us your name. Of course it is. John. Frank. Frank. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, Frank. You sure? Yeah. And deep asleep. Let us again. When I wake you up, you have no idea who you are nor what you're doing here. It's as if you have complete and absolute total amnesia. Wait, wait, no, wait. Now we'll talk to Michelle for a second. Michelle, let me ask you a rather dumb question. But who are you? We got Kira, we got Michelle, right? Boris, and you are. That's um, all right, we'll get back. I'll just talk to Michelle for now. Michelle, right? Yes. So Michelle, Boris, and you. Yeah, come to me as well. Now, Michelle, what? I don't call myself. That, that's true. I, I know, it always makes me I feel surprised when my phone says that I'm calling myself. It's just the weirdest thing ever. It's right on the tip of your tongue. Um, well, if you take a look at the tip of your tongue, you might actually see it. It starts with S. I think. We'll, we'll get back. Now, Michelle, uh, let me ask you a rather dumb question. How many fingers do you have? Just like everybody else. We all have ten fingers, right? No. Uh, yeah, uh, sir? I was trying to find your name. Uh, I'm trying to find it too. <laughs> That's right, we'll get that. How are you doing, Kira? Everything okay? And Kira, deep asleep. And deep asleep. Kira, let us again. When I wake you up, for one reason or another, when I wake you up, things are going to become incredibly funny. Anything that you look at that will just uh, make you giggle for no apparent reason and wide awake now, wide awake. And uh, what about our friend? Did she come back yet? I don't even know her name. Krista. Her name's Krista. Krista. Okay, is she still in the washroom? Somebody's going to check. Somebody's going to fly. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, please. Just make sure that she didn't uh, follow. Oh, what was going on here? My name Krista? No, Chris is in the, uh, in the washroom, I think. Uh, we're trying to figure out uh, what's happening with her. So, Michelle, what was I asking you uh, that, that, since I got too carried away? I'm so sorry. You see my fingers. Yes, how many do you have? Ten. And deep asleep, now, Michelle. Deep asleep. Michelle, let us see again. When I wake you up. When I wake you up in just a second. I need my glasses. Uh, it's all right. Uh, I put them on the table over there just uh, so that I can't read it either. You know, you read that is, that's a smart way to do it. Um, 
They're being very smart, though. Right? Exactly. <laughs> Michelle, let us see again when I wake you up. Number six does not exist in your mind. I have completely erased number six from your mind for the duration of the show. It's gone, it's missing, it's no longer there. And let us see again, Michelle, you will skip over number six. Go on to the next logical number. And it won't even matter to you. When I wake you up, number six is completely gone from your mind. And why do you wake without number six, Michelle? Now, wait. Now, uh, Michelle, you were just telling us you have ten fingers, right? Right. She was just saying that to us. And again, what is... I just remember. <laughs> And Hogan deep asleep. No, deep asleep. Let's see, and Hogan, when I wake you up. When I wake you up in just a second, your name will no longer be Hogan. For the duration of the show, your name will be no other than Chip. C H I P, Chip. Let us see, and you will be very proud of your name. However, at any point in time throughout the show that I forget your name, you'll get more and more upset with me about the fact that I cannot remember such an easy name as Chip, and you will correct me every time. And absolutely wide awake as Chip. Now, wide awake. So I'm just trying to figure uh, stuff out. Things going okay here? Yeah, we got Michelle, right? Yes. Michelle, Boris, and your name was Chip. <laughs> and, and just the girl again. Now put them together. Chip. Chip. All right. Yeah, okay, you were telling us you have ten fingers, right? Yes. We all have ten fingers, right? Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Your name. Chip. <laughs> now, Michelle, do me a favor. Put your hands out in front of you, both of them, and count your fingers for us out loud. I point you count. One. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> <laughs> eleven. You can see he's got eleven fingers. Ah. Uh, we have a name for that for cats. Tickling like lights or something. Your name. Chip. But it's getting more and more upset each time that I forget it. No, no, hang on. Eleven fingers. That's a lot. Yeah. Did you come here with ten? Yeah. I think you're growing fingers. Yeah. You, you can understand that. Right? What's going on here? Right. You got 11 fingers. What was your name anyway? Chip. Chip, like you did. Chip. Chip. Got it. Four letters. Yeah, anybody uh, check up on Chris? Uh, she's okay. She's all right. Is she uh, still back there? Oh, I'll bring her back here. I'll bring her back. A lot of times they don't even know they Oh yeah, we can uh, bring her out of there. It's uh, up to her. Right? What? Well, uh, she had to go. So bring her back here. We'll either bring her out or uh, uh, take her from. Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, take care. But uh, in the meantime, there's uh, like uh, things happening right here at this very stage. There's like eleven fingers. <laughs> Eleven, right? I'm concerned. Uh, I don't blame you. I, it should be that. that. That's fine. I, uh, do you want me to take everything uh, out? All right. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. So then we snap out of it, which is uh, quite okay. So eleven fingers. Eleven. Uh, uh, you've heard about people with eleven fingers. That happens a lot in cats. Cats don't have eleven fingers. Which hand has more? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Still eleven. That's a lot of fingers. And Chip, deep asleep now. Deep asleep. Chip, let us in. You, on the other hand, cannot pronounce number six, no matter how much you try. Anytime you try to pronounce number six, only the first letter, the sound, will come out, and that's about it. So anytime you try to say number six, uh, it'll sound something like S -s -s -s, and uh, no more. And the more you try to correct yourself, the more you will screw it up. The more you will screw up, the more you will try to correct yourself. And absolutely wide awake. No, wide awake. Now there's like 11 fingers, right? You seem very concerned about that. I am. I just hope it's not spreading. Why don't you uh, try your fingers? Uh, here, why don't you count your fingers out loud? One. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. <laughs> 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 I 
Christmas. Seven. Seven? No, it's not seven. It's. It's seven. Seven. It's not seven, it's... <laughs> By the way, some of you right about now are probably saying to yourself, no, this is not real. I don't believe a thing. The whole thing is fake, it's set up somehow. It cannot be real. Some people would actually be poking the person next to you telling you, right, this poorest guy, not only does he set the whole thing up, he must be paying the volunteers off, right? Well, it's absolutely true. <laughs> I really do pay my volunteers off. Everyone on stage, let us sing in remaining in your seats. Let us sing in remaining in your seats. In my hand. Let us sing in my hand. I'm holding a large stack of $100 bills. And let us sing in remaining in your seats. In my hand, I'm holding a large stack of $100 bills. And simply by raising your hand, would anybody want one? Now, each one of my volunteers gets $100 simply for coming up here. Uh, and as soon as I give you guys the money, please put it away so that there's no misunderstanding who got the money, who didn't get the money. They're all very, very special people to me. I love them all equally. They do come up here of their own free will. And you know, you figure, what is it if you make the money? If you can't share it, put it away, please. Uh, it, with the people that help you make a dollar. Too. So for that specific reason, each one and every one of my volunteers gets $100. And sharing is one of the greatest things that you could ever do. I really mean that. They come up here of their own free will, and you give a little bit of part of yourself. Call me a philanthropist and stuff. Uh, what's the problem here? Uh, uh, Chuck. Chip. <laughs> chip. Four words. Let letters, yes. Four letters. Chip. Like the dip. Yeah, what's the problem? You keep forgetting my name. And it's a simple name. Chip. Yeah, no, I know that. But uh, what else was the problem? You were doing? didn't give me any money. Right. You are trying to scam me out of an extra hundred. Yeah, I, I... Chuck, it's Chip, <laughs> and you didn't give me the hundred dollars. I really didn't give you any money. No. Wow. Please forgive me. Chip and who? Please forgive me. I don't know what's wrong with me. They say as you get older, you start forgetting stuff. I'm not even that old, but you get your hundred. I'm so sorry, my friend. Please forgive me. You get your hundred. No questions asked. But you know what, Chuck? I like you. Chip. <laughs> Chip. Like four words. I'll do even better for you. Do you have any money on you other than the hundred I just gave you? Uh, yes. Any bills in your, your pocket wallet where you keep them? Yes. I'll do this for you. For each bill that you give me, in return, I'll give you a hundred dollars. So let's say you give me a five dollar bill. In return for that five, I will give you a hundred. You give me a ten, a hundred. Twenty, fifty, you could be rich by the time you leave your chunk. Are you Donald Trump? Something like this. <laughs> but uh, it's got to be your money and you cannot go get change. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. As many bills as you have, as long as I have. Take visa? No, no visa. It's got to be bills and it's got to be your bills. And you're going to give me 100 bucks? For each one of them. For each bill? Each bill. That's a dollar. Uh, but they don't make those anymore, but if you have an old dollar, oh my. Uh, yeah, I see uh, money falling out of you. Okay, well, I hang out with this. I don't. Uh, you said a hundred dollars. No, that, that's yours. I'm just giving you back your money. Oh. You know what? I don't know how much you have in uh, your wallet. I'll give you all of this for whatever you have in your hand. What's the deal? <laughs> yeah. That's yours. This is mine. Okay. Uh, that's uh, good deal. Yeah. How do you guys think I get paid today? <laughs> Actually, you know what? Uh, 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 skip. Chip. 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 I'll let you keep your money and the hundreds. Uh, no, you, you keep it all. Really? Yeah. Just put it in your pocket. I don't want uh, you losing it. I don't want you losing your money, uh, but put it all in your pocket. 
Uh, and, and you will put yours. Like yeah, yeah, that's for you. Right on. second on your left shoulder will be a large bird a big parrot sitting there let it sink in now i actually uh, get a chance to show you guys uh, first of all uh, by the way what you are seeing uh, today is not anything more than actual science uh, uh, people have figured out uh, and we're constantly in a trance we really are uh, and anymore from one trance to another and there's nothing supernatural about it uh, it's just that you become a little bit more aware of uh, the reality around you but you create that reality in your own mind so i'm going to show you how far you can take that reality here let us again when i wake you up when i wake you up in just a second on your left shoulder on your left shoulder will be a large bird a big parrot sitting there let us see again at any time throughout the show that you can say absolutely anything into the microphone that parrot will peck at your ear and the rest of you, when I wake your eye care up, you will be able to see and hear that bird too. And Chip, deep asleep. Chip, let us sing in. The bird on Kira's shoulder knows how to talk. And every five seconds, it will keep calling you Chuck. <laughs> you cannot touch the bird, but you're welcome to yell and scream at him as much as you want. And absolutely wide awake, all of you seeing and hearing the bird now. Wide awake. Now, I know it really is rather tough to realize that what you are seeing on stage is absolutely real. It's not a put on. I just tried to show you how far you can uh, take your reality and uh, move it around uh, and to what extent where people get a chance to see something. What you're seeing is uh, one type of a hallucination. Later on, I will show you another type. And uh, Kira, that's beautiful, by the way. Is that yours? Now, this uh, the, 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 the bird. And let us see again. He's on my finger right now. Take a look. Isn't he gorgeous? Get it away from me. That's right, I'll keep it on my finger. And he seems to know you. Stupid thing keeps calling me Chuck. <laughs> Chip. 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 Now, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, Michelle, do me a favor. Can you help me count the toes on the bird? One, two, three, four, five, seven. Oh, he's just like you. <laughs> now, do me a favor, for the people way in the back and behind me, they can't really see this thing up close. Can you describe it for them, please? It's like a macaw. It's beautiful. It's very colorful. And it has the red feathers and blue down here. Chip! <laughs> now, did you guys know that I'm a magician? Did you know that, Karen? How about you, Chuck? Did you know I'm a magician? Uh, yeah, Chip. Yeah. Did you know I'm a magician? It's birds drive me nuts. <laughs> cool. I can make this whole bird disappear. This is like the coolest trick in the whole world, but if you blink, you will miss the whole trick. It's all thing the hand is quicker than the eye, because my fingers, they never leave my hand. By the way, a little bit of a public service announcement. There's no birds actually harmed in the production of this trick. Just watch, very carefully watch. Do not blink and let it sink in. The bird is gone. Look at this, nothing up my sleeve. <laughs> nothing over here. Made him disappear all 11 toes of him. You want to chuck chuck? Chip. And I'm glad, because the thing couldn't say my name. It drives me nuts. Well, just because you missed it, I will make the bird reappear. This is even cooler than the last time. Just watch very carefully, do not blink. And let us again, the bird's back. And Michelle, I'm going to put him on your shoulder right now. And let us again, it becomes even more annoying. It's the most annoying, stupid bird in the world. Keeps biting and pecking and pecking, biting, and the more you push it off, the more it keeps coming back. The bird keeps screaming, Chuck, Chuck, Chuck! And uh, all of you are starting to hate the darn thing, and you'll yell and scream at me to get rid of the bird. 
Uh, you want him gone, uh, Michelle? I'll get take care of uh, this thing. Uh, it's okay. Don't need to hit him, uh, Michelle. Uh, Oh, that's all right. Uh, just out of curiosity, is anyone on stage carrying a gun? <laughs> or a weapon of any other kind? Let us see here. By any chance you do have a weapon, you will not use it under any circumstances. All of you, let us see again. Stay in your chairs. Do not leave your chairs. Do not move your chairs. Because you know what I have right here, let us see again. It's a big gun. Michelle, don't move. I'll take care of this thing for you. Just please don't move. By the way, now, people, people, people. <laughs> what I really would like to tell you is that you should not play around with guns. Because it's not people who kill people, it's actually guns that kill people. Right? Uh, your name. <laughs> Michelle, open your eyes. Open your eyes. Don't move. I'll take care of this thing for you. Please, don't move. <laughs> and a bird. What's my name now, bitch? <laughs> 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 and the bird is lying right there on the chair. No blood on him whatsoever. But he kind of looks dead. And let it sink in. All of you love that bird.